Hello and welcome to Take Time. I am your host, Patrick Marlette, and today we are talking about a beautiful bronze maelstrom. So I have been collecting for a long enough time to know when I see a good deal. And this is arguably the best deal I've seen on a bronze diver in a long time. Here we have the Ergon Maelstrom. The brand is new, but the minds behind it are not. One of the partners on this new design team also makes the watches that many of us love from Zelos Watch Company. And carried over from that brand is a shared philosophy. Deliver the best for less. However, is the Ergon's best good enough when compared to other watches in this same price range? Now, as you all know, I like to start with the bad and then move on to the good before giving my final verdict on a review item. So without further ado, let's jump into the storm. Before we begin the video, I'd like to personally thank the team over at Ergon for sending this watch my way for review. And just so you all know, this watch was gifted to the channel, so feel free to take my opinions however you'd like. But thank you, Hill, and the rest of the team over there for sending this piece my way. It's pretty much what I've been wearing nonstop since I received it. Now, while we're down here, the case measures 40 millimeters in diameter. It is 47 millimeters from lug end to lug end, and is roughly 13 millimeters thick to the top of that sapphire crystal. It also features 20 millimeter lug widths. The 300 meter water resistant case of the Ergon Maelstrom is made out of CUSN8 bronze. So of course expect this to patina over time. And on the back we have a stainless steel case back housing a Salita SW200. There are three versions of the Ergon Maelstrom to choose from. We of course have the asphalt black in today, though you can pick this up in either green or blue as well. Now while those will come with a 120 click solid bronze bezel, this has a color match bezel insert that is made out of ceramic and features loom in all of those indicators. This total package will come with a canvas bag, a waxed Horween leather strap, a Tropic rubber strap, as well as the watch head, and get this, it'll all come in for right around $380. Now, let me preface by stating that this isn't a huge drawback, but regarding the straps, I love both of the strap offerings that this watch came with. However, one features a quick release system, while the other does not. There seems to be a little confusion with the overall concept of the strap offerings here. Are we trying to make these easily interchangeable or are we committing to the spring bar tool ritual of replacing our straps? Honestly, it would have been great to receive a Tropic rubber strap similar to the Horween leather strap here that featured a quick release spring bar system. The convenience of it is undeniable and if you're getting this as your first watch, it would make switching the two straps far easier without the need of additional tools. Now, I own numerous spring bar tools, so this wasn't a huge deal, but it's important to note that the package I received did not include a spring bar remover. I think this was a design miss on Ergon's part. The Salita SW200 features a date complication over the six o'clock position on our Ergon Maelstrom. However, this isn't the most attractive application. I wish more consideration were given to date applications on watches in general, but it is nice having. I like that the date wheel itself is color matched with the dial and that it rests at the six o'clock position, but overall, it sticks out like a sore thumb. This is a personal note, and I'm sure plenty of you will love just having the date displayed here. However, how do you prefer your date to be showcased on your watch? I always prefer there be a framed window, perhaps a rose gold one in this instance to match the handset of this watch, with a circular loom pip just below it. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on that. My last bad note is in regards to the bezel action here, and while it certainly isn't as awful as some watches I've featured here on the channel, it is occasionally stiff. And honestly, I don't know why. It's normally otherwise very smooth, but it'll sometimes get hung up for a good eight to 10 clicks before shifting back to a nice smooth action. Now, I'm not savvy enough to know what's up, but this is a minor dilemma that felt noteworthy enough to mention. Again, otherwise, the bezel action here is really great and on point. Personal grievances and bezel issues aside, man, does the Ergon Maelstrom have a lot going for it. At sub $400, the Maelstrom is easily one of the most compelling offerings on the market. That 40 millimeter case is wonderfully detailed with its finely brushed sides and high polished accents on the lugs. It's a simple yet effective detail that provides this otherwise mundane case with a unique style. 
The Ergon's design is a nod to the 1960s with its overall scale and diver aesthetic, the old radium loom featured, as well as the bezel insert detailing. However, it comes with many modern niceties. By way of its ceramic bezel insert, the sapphire crystal featured here in the CUSN8 bronze case, not to mention the SW200 at the helm. It is anything but vintage, yet still shares that antique vibe. The asphalt black dial takes on both those descriptions well. This is the only model of the three to feature a textured dial with its surface similar to that of asphalt and black. This colorway couldn't get any more literal. It's something that not only sets it apart from its siblings, but makes it a unique offering in its own right. The black dial variant is easily my favorite and far and away the best for pairing with accessories. That neutral bronze and black coloration ensures that virtually any strap thrown on the watch will look good once paired. But the best thing about this watch isn't its wearability or its classic charm, which it has in abundance. It is its accessibility. I cannot believe the quality of the total package I received. The Tropic strap is up there with some of the best. This Horween leather strap is far and away the best stock strap I've seen on a watch sub $500. Again, at $380, you're getting a fantastic deal. Now, before I spoil the verdict, I'm gonna provide you all with a wrist shot so you can see what this might look like on your wrist. Although the Tropic rubber strap it came with is fine, I find that the look of this watch on the Horween leather strap is fantastic. It's a wax leather strap at that, so it should be somewhat water resistant. And um, I'll also showcase the bronze buckle that accents the strap. Now, it only comes with one buckle, so you need to switch the buckle in between the two straps. Eh, that, that's fair, I suppose, under 400, but it would have been nice if both came with a buckle. Anyways, here is the Ergon Maelstrom on a seven and a quarter inch wrist for all of your admirers. And when you are going to admire it, it's gonna look a little something like this. And there is the Maelstrom on a seven and a quarter inch wrist. The scale is really perfection. And the look of this watch is just fantastic. Honestly, that black insert sometimes comes off looking a little brown in certain lights, but I actually really like that. As a matter of fact, I kind of wish that that insert was just a dark brown instead. It would match the watch really well, but as it stands, great work overall. The loom is so-so. I think the loom is fine on this watch. It isn't the best I've seen in this price category. However, it does the job. It's bright enough for you to see the watch in the dark. So uh, bear that in mind. If you're going to go deep diving, if you're going 300 meters under the water anytime soon, I'm not sure this is the most reliable loom for that, but at least know your watch can handle it. If you are into the bang for buck that micro brands offer, look no further. Bronze is one of the fastest growing trends in the watch industry right now, and more and more brands are hopping aboard the hype train. Ergon's first offering being made of bronze is reflective of that. This could easily be done in steel, titanium, or any other crazy material that the minds at Ergon dream up and be just as marketable. Again, a 300 meter diver with a Salita SW200 is really hard to argue with at sub $400. Now, I don't usually harp on about specs, but this is offering what a lot of modern consumers like. If you wanted a watch with sapphire, ceramic, high-grade bronze, and a dependable movement, this is it. If you found this video enlightening or the least entertaining, feel free to hit that like button. It looks a whole heck of a lot like this guy. If you have friends, forums, or groups that are interested in picking up the Ergon Maelstrom, well, feel free to share this video with them first so they can get another consumer's opinion on the brand's first offering. Also, if you are new to the channel, well, welcome. I do videos like this two or more times a week, so if watch content is your thing, feel free to slam that subscribe button. And while you're down there, you can hit the little bell icon just next to that to be alerted as to when my videos air. Again, my name is Patrick Marlette and thank you for the time.